Hey everyone, and welcome back to Why Not Travel. Today, I'm going to show you where you could walk and jog around the Navigator of the Seas. We are currently on Deck 12, where the jogging track is located on the ship. This is the designated jogging track, but in my opinion, it isn't great. They have sun loungers and cabanas, and the jogging track is really not that wide, and a lot of people are trying to get around on this deck. Also, you have the crew members serving drinks and whatnot. Also, if you're wondering, eight laps actually equals a mile on this jogging track. My best advice to any walkers, especially for joggers, make sure you do it early in the morning because that is the only time that this deck is not as crowded and it only gets worse as the day progresses. So keep that in mind. However, there is an alternative option, especially for morning walkers like I am. Welcome to deck four. There is actually somewhat of a hidden promenade on deck four that a lot of people do not go to. And actually, this is a great spot to go just in general um, during your cruise if you need some peace and quiet and just want to hear the ocean going alongside the ship. One of the nice things about the Navigator of the Seas and probably all the Voyager class ships, because I believe they're all like this, is that they still had the old school design of the promenade for the lifeboat deck. And this deck actually goes completely around the ship and it's the only area where you could actually walk the entire perimeter of uh, the Navigator of the Seas. Meaning you could go from bow to stern on this deck. Now, the reason why I don't really consider this a jogging track is because in the forward section of the ship, or the bow of the ship, you actually have to go up a set of stairs up to deck five and go around the bow and then back down to deck four to keep going. And because of that, I don't know if I would re um, consider this an area that is ideal for jogging. Also, when you get around the dining room, this deck gets very, very, very narrow. The reason for this is because the dining room on this ship is actually very wide open and airy. And to accommodate um, this feature, they actually used the promenade area of deck four to make the dining room bigger. The issue with um, this is, like I said, it makes the promenade narrow. So if you were jogging along this deck and you get into that area, in the chance that there is someone walking in the opposite direction or someone walking in that area as well, you will have to stop jogging and kind of do a shimmy past them because it is a very narrow area on this ship. However, if you like to walk, this is the perfect deck to take a stroll around the ship. It is quiet, it's peaceful, and it's relaxing. And it's nice to sometimes just get away from all the stuff going on on the ship to just kind of reconnect with the ocean. At least that's why I take a cruise, and I know a lot of people take cruises just to be by the ocean. Another thing I would like to point out also about um, being on deck four is you're actually fairly close to the ocean. And once in a while, when you hear a splash out in the distance from the ship, you may want to just stop and take a look. I have seen dolphins swimming alongside cruise ships, and I even saw a turtle on a cruise before. You never know what you're selling past, and sometimes mind-blowing at what you see and a lot of people actually don't realize this when they're on a cruise i mean they're inside in one of the lounges the bars or the dining rooms and etc and they have no idea of what you can actually see from a cruise ship sailing through the ocean as I mentioned before, as you reach the forward section of deck four on the promenade, you have to go up a set of stairs up to deck five. And this is actually really unique because on most cruise ships, 
they will not allow you to get to the very front of the ship. And on the Voyager class, and I also think on uh, the Freedom class as well, because the ships are very similar, they actually allow you to get to the very front of the ship or the bow, which is very unique because you do not see this on a lot of cruise ships. This is normally a crew area on most ships. I highly recommend, even if you don't do walks around the promenade, to at least adventure up to this area of the ship because it's a very unique experience and it's something you won't forget and it is a place to get some very good photo ops. We are now coming to the conclusion of walking around the ship. If you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe and until next time, why not travel?